Dan wants to know, what's the quickest and least messy way to reinstall a rear mountain bike wheel for quick maintenance? Great question, Dan. Not only for mountain bikers, but with many new road bikes sporting disc brakes these days, it's a problem a lot of people are going to have to deal with. Shifting into the smallest cog and smallest chainring reduces chain tension and helps to put the derailleur into a position that is easy to line up with the small cog on the cassette. If you have a Shimano Shadow Plus derailleur, make sure the clutch is switched into the off position. If you have a SRAM Type 2 clutch equipped derailleur, take advantage of SRAM's cage lock by pivoting the cage all the way forward and pressing in the lock button to hold it in place. Now that we've covered the basics, it's time to address the elephant in the room. The hardest part is always getting the rotor into the caliper, but I have a fix for that too. I've seen some Shimano disc brake sets ship with installed pads chamfered along the bottom edge. This chamfer helps to guide the rotor into the caliper. You can chamfer the pads of any disc brake system to aid in wheel insertion if you are frequently taking the wheel on and off. Just be careful not to chamfer more than 2 millimeters up from the bottom edge of the pad to ensure that you still have good pad contact with the rotor. If done right, this minor modification shouldn't affect braking power and it will make your wheel changes much smoother. If you want your question asked on Ask a Mechanic presented by Art Cyclery, send your inquiry to webletters at competitorgroup.com.